Blessed light, everybody. So we're going to do a quick tour around the country. And I've found quite a few more uh, coinciding clues to the tarot of the territories and the naming of things in this in the world that we live in <clears throat> and i'm going to start with that fool card now he's only up at this top location because he would block out the whole most of the country if i put that card down where he belongs he is the cayendo aquí Cayendo aquí means falling here. Falling here, cayendo aquí is Kentucky. And that's Portuguese. You know, we are dealing with the slavers language, the language of the slavers, the Portuguese uh, slave traders. So cayendo aquí, falling here, is right here in Kentucky. The center point, the center mass for the entire zodiac. The fool card is the zero card. It's the zero point on the X and Y axis. So that fool card indicates the beginning. <clears throat> card number one dropping down from there will be the magician. That magician, funny enough, um, I mentioned before he has that table it's, uh, the table signifies, you know, the placement of his accoutrements. And right here, if you look very close, we have a Tau cross. Uh, the, excuse me, the cross of Pi. That table right there. And Tennessee is Tienessa. He has it. He has everything that he needs on his table. Over here, this 777, that's the Georgia Guidestones, uh, right up in that corner. But that, I believe, falls into, out of the Sagittarius and is right on that border going into Scorpio, back in the other direction. So I just want to point out, also in Sagittarius is the Temperance card. And the Temperance card, if you look at this line right here, Going right through Florida, it just brushes up on Tampa Bay. Temperance, Tampa Bay, you know, the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. And the Temperance card has Rays blinding coming off of her crown. Also the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, that might be more of a Scorpio sign. You know, they have their flag is a skull. There's your skull on the flag, the flower rider, Florida, the flower rider, the state of death, state of retirement, the bottom of the country. Um, it is the hanging man, the hanged man, which I put the hanging Chad, which was the kiss of betrayal in the elections back with Gore. So also we have the Bermuda Triangle just off of the coast there. We mentioned all of this earlier. I'm just reviewing this bottom section. So this dividing line here, the summer solstice, is the uh, Mississippi River. Uh, I'm a little off center here. Uh, the Mississippi River is over on that coast. But that Mississippi River sure does mark the Cayendo Aki of Kentucky. You know, that center point, the zero point of this map. And the Mississippi is the Isis uh, IPPI, that's, uh, the, that's the Empress. The Empress is the Mississippi, that's goddess worship of the river. And down here we have New Orleans, you know, the sacrificial goat in, uh, uh, for many hurricanes and thunderstorms. Uh, slave, a uh, slave port. Also, you see these people in chains. Lots of slave ports on the coast, but, um, New Orleans. It's called New Orleans. Well, this is in January. January is the new month. This is the beginning of a new year. Uh, so there you have your Capricorn uh, devil card, priestess card. Over here we move into uh, Aquarius. 
and Aquarius, I believe, has much to do with Arkansas and the Kansas City uh, explosion, the building that exploded in Kansas City. And there's the Lone Star State with the star card. Texas is the star card. Moving on to Pisces, which is a water sign. You know, we have Hawaii, way off the coast of the United States, falling in that quadrant of the zodiac. Here we have the Khalifa, the foreigner, the foreign Khalifa. You know, that's named after an African queen. You know, and she wore a whole lot of gold. That was kind of her, her jam, was mostly naked, but she wore gold. And that is, you know, there's gold in their, them their hills. You know, they're talking about the rolling hills of the Khalifa, the naked, gold-adorned goddess of California. Now here we have the emperor, and I put, you know, he's in Aries, just over that equinox, the spring equinox there. But I wrote down the empire state, because if you look at the dividing line, we end up seeing right in his quadrant... Of, you know, of the X marks the spot there, right here is the Empire State, uh, Illinois. And that's, uh, you know, Cairo, Illinois, Cairo, Illinois. I spoke earlier on how Il Illinois is Zion Hill in reverse, Zion Island. And so also we have the Sun card up here. Let's roll out. See the Sun card in the corner. Uh, and that's Oro gone. Uh, gold is gone. The end of the gold. The end, you know, Oregon. Uh, so, next in the zodiac will be Taurus. Taurus is an earth sign. Uh, it's got the judgment card with the horn and the hierophant with the crown. And you see the two servants bowing under the hierophant. You see the humans underneath the angel. Well, Helena Montana, now Montana is an earth symbol, but there is an anagram there in Helena Montana, and it is an anagram for a tone heal a man. You know, these guys look like they're seeking atonement. You know, she's putting out a tone to heal the men. A tone heal a man. Just a point. Just making a point. Montana falls in that quadrant of Taurus. Also, uh, Mercury was a musician. Mercury was a god of music. He has the wings on his head. There, the judgment card has the wings on the head, playing music, a tone heal a man. So, Gemini, I put Gemini Soda, Minnesota. Uh, their, their mascot is the twins. The Minnesota Twins. So there you have that. You know, Gemini. Uh, quite a few other things came to mind there with the Twins and the World Card. But we'll just move forward. So next we get into Cancer. And that gives us, you know, Canada. Uh, but that's also the Chariot Card. So I went ahead and I wrote down, you know, Chariot next to the word Detroit. And look how similar those letters are there at the end. R-I-O-T, R-O-I-T. You know, Detroit, Chariot, you know, that even goes to the Pacers, Indiana Pacers. Look how the, you know, the Indy 500 and the going around the track uh, has much to do with that Chariot card. And this one was really entertaining. You know, Vermont is in Leo, and that's the Green Mountain, the, you know. We mentioned uh, the green lion. It's the green time of year is Leo, the summer. Uh, but look at that. You know, here's the card, the strength card. Maine. <laughs> In this quadrant, we have Maine, the lion's mane. You know, we have upstate New York. Well, uh, August is definitely the upstate of the sun. It's... Uh, about it's hitting its its zenith and about to drop down, uh, and then we have New York, which is New Rome, uh, and Rome uh, is an Italian uh, state, and it has that lion, 
You know, they are the dominators of consciousness. It also has Wall Street is in, you know, New York. All of this is lion's power, the strength, the potency of, the, of our country, as it were. So in Virginia, you know, West Virginia and normal Virginia, West means old. When the sun is in the West, it's at the end of its cycle. And here we have the old virgin, the hermit. He's been living in the mountains, West Virginia. Uh, and there you see the mountains in the background. And he's got his cane because he's old. He's, an, uh, he's a Westing Virginia. Westing means aging. He's a mountain dweller. All of these strong, powerful truths. And I just love this one. You know, the Cairo Lions. The Carolinas are the Cairo Lions. That card is the Wheel of Fortune with the Sphinx, the Lion of Cairo. And also in the Libra, the sign of Libra there, is the uh, Justice card. And it has the two scales, the scales. One is North Cairo Lion and the other is South Cairo Lion. You know, the scales point North and, or lift and drop, North and South. Those are the scales of, ju of justice. And we already talked about Florida, the flower rider, and the hanging chad. You know, all of these are archetypes that speak to our mind on a deep, deep level. And to some degree, you know, the consistency of these truths make it very, we'll just say easy to believe the spells when these stories are retold in the format that is prescribed, pre-written, written in advance. I hope that's making some sense to everybody. Give me some comments, some thumbs, up or down, I don't care. Let me know what you think. Much love, much strength, y'all.